On any given night, there are upwards of 4,000 men, women, and children who are homeless in Baltimore. The factors that contribute to this number are cast from a large web, ranging from low incomes, unemployment, domestic violence, lack of affordable housing, evictions, and much more. According to the United States Code 11302, the legal definition of homelessness is an individual or family who lacks a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence. This definition also includes subcategorizations, which include residency in a park, car, abandoned building, bus, train, airport, camping ground, or an individual or family that resides in a shelter or place not meant for human habitation. Like many states across the US, the charm city of Baltimore is no stranger to the problem. Across the city, the issue of people lacking adequate shelter has long been a topic of conversation. But there are those, like Yael Benheim, who are doing something about it. Yael works as a volunteer specialist at Project Place, an organization dedicated to serving as a remedy for any lack of housing or resources to Baltimore's homeless citizens. So Project Place, they provide housing for people in the greater Baltimore area, mostly Baltimore City, but also the county and some surrounding counties. Um, they provide temporary housing. Um, they house up to 60 people at a time between the two shelters that they have. And when clients are there, they get up to three meals a day. They get case management. They get really connected with medical attention that they might have neglected in the time that they were homeless. And then we also provide housing, like supportive housing services for people who are at risk of becoming homeless. One of the key issues when figuring out how many homeless people are in the city is how these people are counted a method simply known as point in time. The way that they count homeless people is they do a count like once or twice a year and they only count people who are outside in certain neighborhoods as well as at certain shelters. It's called a point in time count. So the number of homeless people in Baltimore that's reported is actually much, much, much smaller of a population than the homeless population that actually does exist in Baltimore. The point-in-time method is just one controversy facing city officials. Another is the global outbreak of COVID-19, which as of the end of April 2020, has killed close to 50,000 people in the U.S. and infected almost 1 million. I spoke with Maryland Senator Charles Sindor III, who serves on the Maryland Joint Committee on Ending Homelessness, who offered his insight on the pandemic. I think that it's, it certainly has been an issue that's been at the forefront of a number of people's minds, especially when you talk in Baltimore and see any number of uh, people who have been living in tents and, and, and the like under uh, the JFX and, and, and things. So with uh, a number of the localities uh, ensuring that people were uh, taken off of the streets, ensuring that people who were homeless were actually properly uh, socially distanced. In addition, the letter that the mayor of Baltimore City sent to the uh, governor just a couple days ago asking uh, that 100 beds be dedicated to provide shelter and uh, certain human uh, humanitarian assistance to uh, the homeless down at the, uh, the convention center. Uh, so they're, they're also trying to proactively screen, test, and isolate uh, people who are positive. Um, so it's a, it's a variety of different things going on. The Mayor's Office of Homeless Services was unable to comment at this time. But on their website, they have a list of initiatives outlined on what they plan to do to see this crisis corrected. Meanwhile, Maryland's stay-at-home orders remain in place as COVID-19 cases continue to surge in the state. But for most of the city's homeless population, staying at home isn't an option because they don't have a home to go to. This has been Nehemiah Bester, signing off.